Okay, there he goes. Hello, welcome everybody. This is, uh, of course, Second Life, and it is me. And today I'm actually going to be doing a tutorial about how to uh, use the new um, marketplace system uh, that they put in. Now, I use Firestorm. So if you're looking for a uh, Second Life viewer tutorial, uh, you're going to have to look elsewhere. I really don't like the Second Life uh, viewer. I have it uh, so that I have a better bridge between Firestorm and Second Life. So this is me. And I will give you a frontal view of my manliness. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I am very manly. As you know, I'm transgender, so <laughs> this is me. Anyway, um, so a few of the tips and tricks uh, to this, and I will uh, bring up the marketplace listings. Boom! It's loading. It'll be a little bit slower doing this because of the uh, recording, but. This is what I've got. All the highlighted, the, the bright, bold, white are stuff that is active in my store online already. As you can see, I've got a lot of inventory that I haven't activated yet for the, for the purpose of this tutorial. Okay, so you get stuff... Oh, and I got out of stock things. Hold on. Delete! Do not show me this again. I know it's out of stock. There's not going to be any more stock for this. Okay. Looking max, max, max. Looking, 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 making sure there's no other out of stock things. There is not. Okay. <clears throat> now, um,. I'm going to show you a few of the, the things, um, okay, they've made this so that if you're a designer, uh, like I am, um, as well, the, uh, most of this is gotcha stuff, but I am also a designer, they made it so that if you have multiple versions of the same item, and, uh, that you can just put 1.1 or 1.2 or, you know, versions in there, under the same listing, in different folders. Um, I have not had to use this um, feature because everything I make is out there. Um, I don't make multiple copies of the same thing. Just, you know, if I'm going to retexture something, I retexture it and replace the listing. However, with as meticulous as I am about my textures and stuff, that doesn't happen. Anyway, other than that, um, in order to circumvent that for like gotcha stuff, um, you have to rebox things. Um, especially if you already had them on X Street. Um, say, okay, uh, this is a good example. I had a ton of the, uh, like, bite me signs. Let me show you. Um, I only have three now. But they, because they were on X Street, um, they were labeled, uh, bite me, and then bite me one, two, three, and so on. In order to make it so that the uh, marketplace, li market marketplace listings recognize them as the same object instead of different versions, I had to rebox them. Um, so, um, I, I'll be right there! Sorry, my mom's talking to me real quick. Um, I had to rebox them and then put them in there. Now, putting things into um, this is actually fairly easy. Um, you drag and drop, or you can uh, right click and tell it to move or copy, depending on if it's a gotcha item, or if it's your item, or if it's a no if it's a no copy item in, 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 at all. You have to move it wholly over there. Um, from there, uh, you tell it to uh, create a listing, which I've already done with this one, and then you go to edit listing. As you can see it pops up the internal uh, web browser and it goes to the listing for the item. From there you can 
uh, depending on what the item is made of and stuff, I'll show you once it's finished. You set it to active, depending on the content, you set the maturity level, whether it's 100% mesh, partial mesh, no mesh at all, because I have a few no mesh items in here. Um, it's also, it's always an option. Um, what the permissions are uh, for the object, um, and whether or not you have to unpack things. Now, the majority of Gotcha, majority of my store, you have to unpack things. There's few things. There's only a few things that are in my uh, marketplace of Gotchas that you don't have to unpack. Um, and this was because there was no copies of the item, um, and so yeah. From there, if it's clothing, you have to. You, you, if you're nice. You should say classic or mesh avatars. Um, mesh it, mesh clothing is kind of a hit and miss on this because some mesh avatars are fine with certain types of clothing, others aren't. Um, you can name the name brands of the mesh bodies that work with the, your clothing if you make your clothing. This doesn't always happen. Be very, very careful about the item title because Sometimes it does not autofill it. Yes. Uh, listing different features like is it mesh? Is it, you know, what color it is? If you want to. Um, usually I take pictures, so this doesn't really need to be filled out. That's why it's optional. You have to have a description, even if it's massively, massively repetitive and stupid. Keywords are severely important. Keywords direct people searching for items to your listing. So, like for my shoes, I make I make um, cheap, uh, sneakers that look kind of like Chuck All Stars. Uh, and so I put All Star, I put Star, I put All, I put Chucks, I put Chuck, I put sneakers, sneaks, um, sneaker, shoes, unisex, whatever kind of colors or description descriptions of what's on there. Um, stuff like that because like a couple of my gotcha items um, I'll show a couple of my gotcha items are um, from like the Geeks and Nerds event uh, from where is it from Swaggo this, this blue one, I had to put it under moderate because it talks about how he has a big disc. <laughs> Pun intended, into window intended. Okay, the red one says Bazinga Bish. Bish, not bitch. So I put it under general. And in the keywords, I put Big Bang Theory and Sheldon because that is where Bazinga is from. So it actually got it sold, got one of the ones I had sold. Um, which is really awesome. Now, another thing you should always have is to keep in mind the category. And I'm going to show you the categories. It, every single category on the freaking planet is here. Uh, gotcha should always be under used items because they're technically are used. Plus, there's no gotcha category. At least not for reselling. Um, there's like stuff under built uh, under business where it says business uh, things and you can get the gotcha scripts and stuff. But ah, scroll too high, scroll too high. There we go. So keep that in mind. Um, it's common sense on uh, all really um, prices. Um, I always go under pull and depending on whether or not I remember what I paid for it depends on whether or not I go severely under or only slightly under and also popularity um, like there's certain gacha events that I know are very popular so I judge the price based on that as well um, things for tag or arcade are usually priced higher not very high like I my, my daisy cookie jar I believe is like 40 um, but you're also on your original works depending on the terms of service that you paid for the kits or whether or not you make your own mesh 
will depend on what, on your prices as well. Now, um, the, the the place that made the jeans and the sneakers, the, the mesh for those, mo mesh models for those, um, specify you, you can't sell for under 50. And then of course, uh, Second Life takes a percentage of your sales over a certain amount. So, you see where I'm going there? So, I have the 50 that's required and then they usually do 55 for most of my items. Because I don't care how good a texture is, I don't care how good the mesh is. If you price it decent, you'll sell more. Especially if you're really good. Um, you'll sell more copies, you'll get, uh, you'll be helping out new people. Um, do you know it's really, really hard to get good quality mesh objects and clothing and stuff when you're brand new and you don't have any money. Um, most people who are new to Second Life and want to have the experience before they really commit to it and put their payment information and stuff in, want to see what's possible. So by selling low or giving away freebies of good high quality mesh items, you're helping them out. Like my demo shirt. My demo shirt is actually just a shirt with my with my store logo on it for my t-shirts. Um, and it's absolutely free. It doesn't say demo on it, it doesn't have my store logo hanging above your head or anything like that. It's, it's just a free shirt with my logo. That also happens to run as the demo for my other shirts that run, you know, a little bit higher, like 50, 55. So, keep that in mind. I wish a lot of a lot more designers and creators uh, kept that in mind too. Um, I understand you know high quality skins and mesh bodies being you know two thousand to five thousand because of the the time and effort in those. I understand that those are really big deals, um, but clothes are everywhere, and most of the, most of the designers are using um, mesh kits that they bought from somebody else. Um, so, and most most terms of services for for the mesh kits don't say charge two grand for your object. They usually say at least fifty, so that you're you're at least uh, not severely underselling everybody else. So, I really wish they would keep that in mind. Anyway, always, 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 even if you have to open the gacha, take the picture, and then rebox it, take a picture of the object. Now, a lot of people, and this is valid too, but but a lot of people take the um, the gacha key, which is the, the picture that's got all the objects inside the set, all in one thing. The designer or creator has made that gacha key as, re as a reference material. A lot of people use it that way, but I have found, even though it's more work, for me it's easier because I don't have to do red circles multiple different times. Um, and then remember which one's labeled what. Um, to just take a picture, make a photo booth, go to a sandbox, unbox the first one if you got multiple copies, um, take a picture, and then put it up there. If you've only got one copy, open it, take a picture, put it in there. You don't have to rebox it. Unless there's multiple objects in that are like linked together or whatever that might have an issue always take a picture and then depending on what you're doing um, if say you make t-shirts or sneakers you can list uh, related items other other types of the same shoe or whatever um, in the related item thing you can you can say okay oh, hey, here's the demo um, on on also if you are um, paying back somebody like you say, hey, you know, you give me this free and I'll kick you back a percentage of each sale. Yes, that's what you use that for. Now, this is, this is fairly easy um, once you get the hang of it. Just keep in mind the basics. That is, if there's multiples that have numbers on the ends of them, like one, two, three, open them, rebox them, put them back. Um, if there's not, you don't have to worry about it take pictures, sell low. Now, I forgot to mention, 
my rares, the things that are, are the gotchas that are rare, uh, depending on how many I have, depends on my price as well, and I never go over 500 ever. It doesn't matter how long ago the arcade was or the scarcity of the market, I always sell maximum of 500. I might go to 550 and depending on what it is, but that is severely, severely rare. reason for this is I'm more likely to sell my object <laughs> at that price and then the person is selling the same super rare for three grand I'm serious I have seen like say the um let's see no 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 okay yeah I have seen things like this double decker bus rare uh, go for a couple grand. I have it set for like I think 250 or 500. And I had a big bin one. I don't know where that went. Hmm, maybe it's old. Anyway, I have a big bin, a big bin one. Uh, that I also had for lower. Now the only times I do, I'm going to show you this one. The only times I do um, anything over 500 are on um, complete sets. Um, like this one. This is I had this one for 550, but I've had ones for different. This is a uh, four doll huggable uh, set of Star Wars dolls from Hopscotch. Um, I've got... Uh, where is it? I have another complete set. There it is. This is all the comments from the uh, Ionic Spring is Coming collection. I kept the rare because that was what I was going for. Um, but see? 250. Now if I had everything and the rare, in fact I have... I have... complete tag, uh, standby tag, gotcha 2015 complete set of the uh, the vinyl pop figures. Um, see? <laughs> but that includes the rare and then the ultra rare, the thing that you had to get the little coupon from the tag event to go and get. So, like I said, keep in mind, uh, keep your prices somewhat decent. Um, because if you don't, you're going to be sitting with those in your uh, marketplace listings for a really long time, if forever. Um, because people are going to look for other sellers uh, that have lower prices. In fact, I have a few things from um, last, from the arcade event from last time, um, from. Um, that, yeah, I have, th I have things in my favorites list on my, on my marketplace listings. Uh, my marketplace, you can favorite things to go and buy them later. I have things from that gotcha that I wanted to get. Um, and I went through the list of, of every single one and got the lowest priced one put in the list. Um, so that when I have them, the uh, Lindens, I can go back and buy them. Um, the only thing I don't have is my yellow uh, wax on wax off car. Nobody's selling it on Marketplace. At least that I can find. Okay, so that's the tutorial. I'm sorry, I'm eating candy while I'm doing the tutorial. But a friend of mine on here 
on Second Life asked me to make a tutorial about the new marketplace setup and how it works. So I did. Hope you're happy. <laughs> no, I'm sorry it took a few days. Um, I kept forgetting and I had other obligations. Um, and I will talk to you later. I hope you have fun. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, anything I didn't cover that uh, in the tutorial, feel free to message me um, either in the comments or um, in personal message and I will attempt to answer them as best as I can and trust me I've been doing this for days now getting all of my gotcha on here I'm pretty sure um, that I know everything there is to know about doing this um, for the conventional person so, yeah. Talk at you later. And I am not... Sorry. Yeah. I was supposed to end this, but I have to make one more... One more comment. I am not a professional speaker. I've never taught in front of a class. I'm not a professor. None of that. Never taken any speech courses or anything. So I have a lot of filler words. I use a lot of weird social language from the... Uh, decades that I grew up and the area that I'm from, please, 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 please keep that in mind, because I'm being nice enough to put the tutorial up to begin with. And this is, the reason why I'm saying this is because I had a, uh, I guess a troll um, come and comment on the fact that he's